Hi, it's Yael. I'm coming here to talk to you about imposter syndrome. I saw it popping up on my newsfeed. Someone was posting a book about it and I've been dealing with it. <laughs> we all deal with it. Just need to exhale it out. That's what we have to do. Just take a breath with me first before I start sharing. Take a deep inhale through our nose. Expanding your belly and expand your chest with fresh prana. And exhale everything out. One more, inhale through the nose. Fill your body. And exhale everything out. <sighs> whatever way you want to exhale I just want to chat quickly about imposter syndrome excuse the noise I'm outside and for me I've been able to grapple with it better than I usually do I'll wait for these cars um, for me right now when I see it coming in and it's feels like fear it just feels like a fear that's like you're not enough or you don't know enough or shut like it's negativity it's a negative entity in a way that comes in through our own experiences and each of us obviously has our unique imposter who is your unique imposter and that can be like an energy formed not just from one person or parent maybe or teacher or someone in your like early life um or later life it doesn't matter it could be any part of your life um come into your psyche and tell you like it's like sabotages you and what i'm starting to do at this point with my inner saboteur we should first of all we should name our inner inner sabotagers i gotta come up with a name I, I just thought of the name of my old personality i had when i used to drink but I don't want to name my imposter that name. <laughs> but anyways, let's first of all, let's name our saboteurs. Second of all, what I'm doing when that energy comes in is I'm just going to embrace. I'm going to do the opposite of what that imposter would want me to do. I am going to go and do the action that exactly is the saboteur is blocking me from doing. And that's what I'm experiment, experimenting with at the moment. I might have a moment of like feeling that ugh feeling that uh i might even have you know we might even have moments where we need to like go lie in bed and just sleep and that's okay for like a day you know or a little bit if you need but i say do the complete opposite like take the action that the saboteur is trying to stop you from taking and see how you can feel when you can work more with that saboteur so let's name our saboteurs and then let's work with them let's like let's fight back and fight back in a way where we can show the inner saboteur where it's their position because we're always gonna have that voice or that inner saboteur that's gonna come back it actually doesn't leave us so how can we learn to work with it and put them in their place um, I was posting on this in a day ago and I was saying get them out of the driver's seat and put them into the baby seat and I love that because that's what's gonna have to happen. Like, if we're gonna have to be with them forever, just put them in their place. Like, honor what they're trying to do, which is protect us, but it's not protective anymore. And we need to be in our full power right now, all the time, so that we can create our life the way we want to in this time where we're privileged enough to be able to do it with technology and everything. So, that's my message today. Take your inner saboteur, inner saboteur, the inner saboteur. The inner saboteur, ha. The inner saboteur, ha. The inner saboteur, uh. And put them on the side. That has been a huge, huge, huge journey for me. I lived in so much fear for a really long time. Like, really, really long. Been afraid of everything. Been afraid of so many different things. And it's just like ending now because I'm reframing. This car is so dramatic reframing my relationship with my inner saboteur and doing things that do make me uncomfortable doing things that you know 
are unfamiliar but have to happen because I'm not minimizing myself anymore and you shouldn't either. So this is my message to you. Just befriend the inner saboteur, embrace that little bit of fear or anything it is that, you know, is gonna come, but like live with it, embrace it, love it, know it's coming, like intentionally be aware that you're gonna be a little bit afraid or a little bit uncomfortable and taking that and moving with it so that you can be in control of who you are and what you're creating and the life you want to live. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Clap with me, y'all. Let's do it. Okay, let's let's do it to that con con to that feminine and what and a ha ha. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Like let's do it. We don't have time. Let's do it. I'm doing it. You should do it. You're probably doing it. You're already doing it. Everyone's doing it. Nobody's doing it. We all have to do it. Let's do it. I'm doing it. Okay, I'm I'm just like high off of life now because that's what happens when you start to embrace yourself. You just like expand and you're happy and you're in joy because you're allowing yourself to be who you need to be and who you are and it's like why was i diminishing myself for so long oh yeah just because of like my ancestral patterns and my fears and my family and society and i'm different and i'm weird and i'm a star seed and i just don't i was a witch in my past life like whatever reasons like Embrace it and own it. Own your badass, unique, amazing self. Because the world needs us and it's time for us to live in our own timelines for the first time. Maybe not the first time, but in a long time on this planet. So Satnam. It's my prayer and my message to you. I hope you take it in and claim your life.